The AppRape permission mechanism offers a simple yet flexible way to manage which users, teams, or roles can access a specific resource in your project, like documents and files. As the name suggests, read permission allows a user to read a resource, create allows users to create new resources, update allows a user to make changes to a resource, and delete allows the user to remove the resource. All permissions can be granted to the individuals or groups of users, entire teams, or only to a team members with a specific role. Permission can also be granted based on authentication status, such as to all users, only authenticated users, or only guest users. Inside of your AppRite project, navigate to Databases. Inside of Databases, you'll find different collections. Each collection will have its own set of permissions. Under the Settings tab, you can scroll down to see Update Permissions. As you can see here, there are many roles available. Any would provide you with any available user, no matter what status. All guests are anyone that's not authenticated. All users, you can set so that anyone that is already a user in your system and is logged in under that user. You can also specify select users and teams. Let's go ahead and set up two roles. In the first role, our any role can read anything. So this might be something like a blog that you want others to be able to read. Then on top of that, the users role are allowed to create. Let's check out this teams. Let's go ahead and call this team the admin team. Within the admin team, we're then gonna have to add members to it. So if we select the members tab, we can actually add a member called alex at appright.io. Let's go ahead and go back into the databases collection called permissions collection. Now when we select teams, we'll see admin team and we can select that and we can provide all of the different user roles that we need, including create, read, update, and delete. Document security is something that is in each individual document. It's more granular. So when you go to create one of these documents, you'll specify the exact security for each one of the documents. As you can see in this example, we have document level security set. So when I use the create document method, we can then update all of this document's permissions by specifying them within this array. Here you can see that we have set read, update, and delete for my user as I am currently logged in with that ID. Please take special note. There is no create when setting document level permissions. Create is always on the collection or bucket level, never on the document. Because storage permissions are almost identical to database, I'll just show you how to access them. Function level permission can be often misunderstood, so I want to focus on this for a second. When you look at the executions, executions are every time a function is run. So if we take a look at the settings for executions, there's execute access. Because AppRite is secure by default, you need to choose who can execute this function. So at this point, you could set any and allow them to execute anyone outside of it. Otherwise, you can put all users and then any user within the system would be able to execute it. Same goes true for our teams. We have our admin team set up so you can select just that team and only allow admins to run this. Now, anytime someone creates a document within that specific database and collection, this function will execute.